Hi creatives, how are you doing today? Uh, today we are going to draw Stargirl. Stargirl is a new movie on Disney Plus and uh, the character really jumped out at me because she is kind of a weirdo, like me. And uh, yeah, she's really into music and she just has her own style and I think especially today it's really important to remember that uh, you know, sometimes being yourself uh, is hard, uh, but I think it's really important. So, I'm going to teach you how to do a Stargirl uh, face portrait, and we're going to go with, um, she kind of has a lot of different accessories throughout the movie, but kind of liked her little pom-pom. So, we're going to do a Stargirl with uh, the pom-poms today. I will be drawing with Sharpie, as usual. Colors you will need if you want to do it my way. Um, we're gonna need like a pink or a peach will work just as well, pink or a peach. Um, we're gonna need an orange and a red. So we got some warm colors and then as far as our cool colors, we're gonna need a lavender and a blue and then a brown if you have it, it would be great. Uh, and as always, that's just if you wanna follow my coloring style. You certainly do not have to. Uh, you know, part of art is making your own choices. So if you get done with the drawing and you decide, you know what, Mr. C, I want to draw it my own way, that is totally cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, though. So I got my Sharpie. Um, feel free to use pencil and an eraser at home. Uh, and we're going to put our, por our paper in portrait style. Okay, portrait style, which means it's kind of a tall way. And we're going to start off. A lot of my portraits start off this way, but basically just a U shape, right? A U shape, and it might have a slight point down here by the chin. So we're gonna start off with the U shape. Um, let's go ahead and once we have that U shape, we're gonna add some hair. Now Stargirl has some bangs, but we're gonna do a little trick with our bangs. Now normally our bangs would go straight across at the top of this U. But we're gonna do a little trick where I go straight for a little bit and then I'm gonna put a little curvy spike up there. And then I'm gonna do another straight line and another little spike there. So see, I'm pretty much making a straight line across but I'm making these curvy spike lines. and. Uh, what might help is if you use a pencil and just go straight across and then you can erase and put the spike lines in later. Well, basically what that's going to do is kind of make it look like the hair is falling um, over her face instead of just a straight line like that. All right. Next I'm going to go to the top of her hair and I'm going to do two sides. I'm going to do each side on its own. So I'm going to kind of pick a point where I think, I'm just making a really light mark there because that's where I think the top of her head should go. And I'm going to go out, in, out, and down like that. And then I'm just making some little waves in there. Same thing on the other side. Out, in, out, and then just letting the hair kind of fall in. Hair can always be tricky when we're drawing characters, but what's important to remember is that the most important thing is the shape of the hair. I can always add in details later, um, but the shape of the hair is most important. Speaking of detail, let's go ahead and just add some lines here. I'm just going to add a couple of lines and it basically, they all look like they're kind of sprouting out from this point, right? Because that's the top of her head. But I'm not really connecting any of them. I'm just letting them kind of float out here. And that kind of just represents different sections of her hair. And we are going to, we'll use those when we color later. Okay, so we've got a head and we've got some hair. Let's give her some eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and give her some really big eyes. I think big eyes are really fun because 
they really help us express our character, and Stargirl is all about expression. So I've got some big, uh, this is kind of an almond shape or a football shape. Um, so I'm giving her some big eyes. Next, adding some circles for her iris. That's the colored part of her eye. I'm gonna do one more circle for the pupil, and that's the black part of the eye. And then you guys, if you uh, follow my other lessons, you know I always like to put a little bit of light in the eye. The way I'm gonna do that today is just draw two little lines right there. Awesome. Let's give her some eyelashes. I don't want to go too crazy, so what I'm doing is I'm starting at the uh, middle of the eye and going out one, two, three, four, five. Next, I'm going to draw her nose. Now, noses can be tricky too. Sometimes if you try to add too much detail with the nose, it actually doesn't look as good. Even if you're trying really hard, uh, sometimes noses just look awkward. Um, so kind of my idea of noses is I just keep it simple because at the end of the day, the eyes are and the hair and the mouth are kind of where you get the most expression. So for the nose, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do a little triangle. Uh, I'm not even gonna draw the bottom part just because at the end of the day, noses are important in real life, but on drawings, not so important. We're gonna give her a smile. And we'll go ahead, give her some teeth here. And we'll say she's singing. She sings a lot in the movie, so we'll say she's singing a song, so we'll leave her mouth open. And for her eyebrows, I'm just gonna give her some really some lines here. Awesome. Uh, now, for final touch, let's put some accessories on our star girl. She has these little pom-poms in one scene, so what I'm gonna do is just put them up here in the top corners of her head. They actually might be flowers in but Either way, she has these kind of cute little pom-poms. Cool. So that is our drawing. Now let's do some coloring. Um, so the coloring in Stargirl is kind of interesting because they do a lot of, if you look at the title poster, um, it's kind of like a sunset kind of light. So that's why I've kind of brought some sunset colors into this. I'm gonna start with some pink on the skin. And I'm just gonna go super, super light super super light. Don't want to overdo it. Again, if you have peach, peach is a great color for this part too. Awesome. Now for the hair. The hair, I'm gonna kind of do a different kind of trick today. Um, her hair is not really orange, but we are gonna give her a base layer of orange. I'm gonna give her a base layer of orange, and that just means I'm gonna do some really, a really light shade of orange on the hair first. There are two reasons we're doing this. One reason, her eyes we are going to make blue. And orange and blue are complementary colors. So if we have blue and orange on the same portrait, they kind of bounce off of each other. Which is kind of a nice effect. So that's reason number one. Let's go ahead and color it. All right, reason number two. We are actually gonna add the brown to her hair next. Uh, her hair, I'd say, is like mostly brown. It's kind of like this light brown. Um, 
But like I said, in the movie they have a lot of these, um, you know, they play with like the light and she's got kind of this really sunshiny vibe going on all the time. So we're going to play with that a little bit. What I'm going to do, is just wherever I have, uh, you know, black Sharpie line, remember those lines we made, the free floating lines we made earlier in the hair? I'm going to use brown. I kind of just do a layer over them. So this is kind of nice because I don't have to be super, super, I don't have to be super, super uh, precise. I'm just kind of adding some texture to the hair I already made. All right, so I've gotten some brown on all the Sharpie parts. Now what I'm gonna do is do a whole layer of brown it just kind of traces right on the inside of the shape of the hair. So basically wherever I have a Sharpie mark, I'm tracing the inside of that. And again, I'm not, I don't have to be super precise with this. Cool, so now we've got like a light brown hair um, but it's a little more interesting than just, uh, you know, just coloring the whole thing a flat brown because we've got that layer of orange. So it's almost like the light is reflecting back at us, which I think is kind of a nice effect. I'm going to use my Sharpie real quick. Cool. Alright. So. This flower over here, I'm gonna do the lavender. I think it needs a carnation. This flower over here. Um, one finishing touch. I'm gonna take my orange and I'm gonna just give her some kind of sun-kissed cheeks here. And, uh, yeah, that's my take on Stargirl from Disney+. Plus. Um, Last step, just go ahead and put your signature on it and hang it on the fridge or your wall or give it to someone you love. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. That was fun.